I'm Natalie Melton and I'm one of the co-founders of The New Craftsman. The New Craftsman was set up to champion, represent and sell the work of fine British craft makers. Um, we felt that there was an opportunity to bring together a quite carefully curated selection of work from different British craft makers and present it in a way that felt contemporary and modern. Uh, my name's Sebastian Cox and I'm a furniture designer maker. My sort of starting point um, as a designer is closely associated with the material and with the process of making. Taking wood that isn't necessarily very well known and very well valued and giving it a, 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 a market and a, and a price tag by using good craftsmanship and good design. And there's something really nice about taking that something that's essentially a, a tree and turning it into something that is a desirable object. I'm Stephanie Tudor and I create bespoke services for interiors and architecture, focusing on bringing tactility and the natural environment back to our urban environment. In the world that we live in now, we've got so many screens and we've got so much kind of really clean and almost sort of sterile environment that we live in and we're becoming more and more detached from the beauty of, of natural elements. It's instilled in us to be connected with the natural environment. We do want that, I think. <laughs> I hope. We wanted to begin a collaborative project between some of our makers and we wanted to help them understand more about Mayfair. Uh, so the Made of Mayfair project was born. We sent eight makers out with a historian into the streets of Mayfair over the summer and gave them a brief to be inspired by Mayfair. And this week we've taken a beautiful space on Duke Street, an abandoned staircase, and given each maker a day to inhabit the space as they see fit. And the idea is to go back to that principle of connecting commissioners with the makers and allow people to see what they do and how they work and, and how they make. My name is Catherine May uh, and I'm a textile designer um, and I work a lot with natural dyes um, and quilt making. I dye lots of different uh, cloths, linens and silks and wools um, and then I make patchwork quilts from them. I find it very interesting to connect people to the provenance of materials, where they're from and the kind of broader ecosystem. Um, so I kind of really related that to the natural dye process that I use, this kind of magical kind of alchemy that you take little extractions and mix together um, very kind of unique combinations. My name is Lorna Singleton and um, I make traditional oak swill baskets. It's the material that inspires me really um, to go from such a, a strong tree um, and the fact that you can feel a few simple processes you can get to the point where you can wrap it around your finger or, or the rim of a basket um, that's through our new products that's what we wanted to show is like the strength and the flexibility of the material my name is Pedro da Costa Felgares I'm an historical paint specialist I also do lacquer both English and Japanese one the Rushi one the passion from past sort of past Crafts, craftsmen and women, it's uh, the way things were then are so much kind of harder and labour intensive and, and I love the quality of the materials, you know, the, the textures, all those, uh, I mean, they all, my paints still wish, they have sort of a bit of a shimmer when you, at least when you first apply them and you don't get none of that in, in one paint. The reason that we're based in Mayfair is that Mayfair not only is the centre for luxury and is recognised as such around the world, but its roots are very much in rooted in craftsmanship and the artisan. And we wanted to enable that connection between the commissioner and, and the maker. Mm -hmm.